Hi folks, welcome back to the AGS tutorial. Uh, in this video we're going to talk about a little bit more about custom animations that we started uh, in the last video. Um, specifically in this one we're going to uh, have Sammy move around while he's um, while his view has been locked to another view. Um, for example, when, when we watched the, um, the introduction or the cutscene that we that I had made, you saw him sort of run into a, the words. He sort of uh, re recoiled backwards, his arms flew up in the air and he sort of recoiled, recoiled backwards through the air and then landed on his butt. All that was done in um, a custom animation and that's what we're going to do in this video. What I've done, again I've created, uh, before I started the video, I created another view, this one called V Sammy Fall, um, and it contains two loops. Um, the first loop is Sammy um, sort of on his butt with his hands um, behind, his behind him like this on the ground. And the second video is supposed to be him um, in the air with his arms raised um, and his legs are kind of bent a little bit. So um, that's him sort of flying through the air. So what I want to do is I want him to start walking somewhere and when I'm going to have him hit something. And then as soon as he hits it I want him his arms to, f to raise up in the air like this and I want him to fall back to fly backwards through the air and then when he flies backwards through the air I want this other frame to occur of him sort of on his butt. So how would we go about doing that? Well We've pretty much already discussed how to do that in the last chapter. Um, you can apply what you what we learned in the last chapter to this one, with one exception. In the last chapter, he was static, or if you remember, he was sort of shocked, and his his shock animation occurred. He opened his eyes and opened his mouth and uh, and that kind of thing. But he was always stationary at the time. Um, so we're going to show you how to um, to make him move in this one. So I'm going to go back to the cutscene room we had created, back to the room script. Um, and this is what we had done in the last video, lock, lock view, animate, wait, and unlock view. So in this one we're going to do something very similar. Instead of doing lock view, um, we're going to do lock view frame. And the reason we're going we're to change what, what we had done in the last video is there's no real animation that's going to occur here. Um, that is, when he's flying through the air backwards, he's not animating, he's just uh, there's just one static frame of him, of him with his hands in the air. So we're going to change his view so that it's just this one static frame as he's moving through the air. Um, so we're going to do a, a function called lock view frame. So, um, so let's do that now. So let's, um, let's say csammy dot lock view frame. And again, this will do the same thing that lock view did. Remember, lock view just locked his view into a specific view. This one does the same thing, but it locks to a specific frame within a specific view. Um, so the first thing that this one wants is the, the view that we want to lock to. Again, we can either specify an actual number here, or we can type in v sammy fall, the actual name of our view, uh, all in uppercase. The next uh, parameter is the loop to which we want to lock his view into. Um, let's go back to our view. Um, we put the um, the view the the frame here that we want to lock into. We put that into loop one, and it's actually the first frame in loop one. So again, it wants the loop. Well, that's loop one, and the frame within that loop is loop zero. It's the first frame, which uh, which the first frame it starts at zero. So that will lock him into that view. Now we want um, now that his frame is locked into that view, we just want him to move around on the screen. Well, we already know how to move Sammy around on the screen, and that's called csammy.walk. So what we want him to what we want to happen is imagine that my mouse cursor is Sammy. We sort of want him to fall backwards, sort of in an upper uh, to the upper left uh, for a little bit, and then he wants to fall back down. So he sort of falls through an arc motion. So he's here. We want him to fall backwards up to about here, and then fall back down. So he sort of goes through an arc. Um, so that'll that'll really involve two walk commands: one to walk up up and to the right, and the other to walk down and to the to the right also. So he goes through this sort of arc motion. Um, so the first thing it wants is the x location that we want him to walk to. Well, that x well that x location will be um, his current x location. So that's csammy.x, and we want to add maybe 12 to it. So we want him to walk 12 pixels farther to the to the right than he currently is. And then the y location says that'll that will move him to the to the right, but now we want to also want to move him up a little bit. So he sort of moves at an angle. Well we want the um, the y location to be his current y location minus about eight. Uh, 
Um, and then we want to say, do we want to block or no block? We'll say block on this one because we, we want him to walk there before the, the rest of this uh, script occurs. Do we want him to obey the walkable area as well? In this case, I don't think we have any in our, our room, our screen here that we created. So I'll just say walk anywhere. And I believe that's the last function, that's the last parameter. So let's close the parentheses and, uh, and type the um, semicolon. Now we want him, now he's, he's up in the air, he's, in the, he's at the peak of his arc. Now we want him to fall back down again. So we want say sammy.walk. Now we want the, um, the same thing here. We want the X location to be six, uh, or 12 pixels even farther to the right. So see sammy.x plus 12. Now the, the Y location should be back down again. So it should be, instead of, last time we did see sammy.y minus eight, this time we'll do see sammy.y plus eight. And then the last two parameters, e block and e anywhere. Now we want. Uh, now he's basically fallen through the arc. This was the 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 first part of the arc of him falling through the air. This is the second part of the arc of him falling back down to the ground. Now we want to lock his frame again, but this time we want to lock it to that uh, other frame of animation that we have of him actually you know sitting on his butt because now he's fallen he's fallen down. So we do the same thing. We say c sammy dot lock view frame again. It's the same view that we we just did, but this time we're going to lock him to a different um, a different loop within that frame. This time it's loop number zero and frame number zero, so it's a different frame. And then we'll have him sit on the ground for maybe two seconds. So we want to wait eighty game loops. That's two seconds. And then we'll unlock his, his view. Again, that, that will return his view back to um, normal. So basically, in effect, we'll cause him to stand back up again. And then we'll have him say something like, ow, see sammy.say, and we'll say ow, something like that. Um, OK, now there's one more thing that I want to do before I uh, run this. And that is I want to have him walk somewhere um, before he actually um, before this animation occurs. I want him to be walking when this animation occurs. So let's go back up to the top of our little section of code here that we just inserted. And let's have him walk, see sammy.walk, um, somewhere to the left of where he is. So he's standing there sort of in the middle of the screen. Let's have him start walking to the left. He'll hit some kind of imaginary force field um, and then he'll sort of recoil backward and, and go through the animation here. So um, the X location we want him to walk is see sammy.x minus, let's say, 20. That'll walk him 20 pixels to the left. Uh, his Y location shouldn't change, so let's just have C Sammy dot Y um, block and anywhere. So in other words, he'll he's starting at, in the middle of the screen. He'll walk to the left. Then then this animation will occur. He'll sort of fall th fly through the air. He'll land on his butt. He'll wait there for two seconds on his butt, and then he'll stand up um, and say "ow." Um, so let's see how that works. <clears throat> So we have all this introduction stuff, which I could comment out, I guess, but... Okay, there he is shocked. Now he walks to the left. Aha! I, th I saw a problem. He walked to the left, and then he was immediately on his butt, and he sort of flew through the air um, while he was already on the ground. <coughs> now why did that happen? Because we, I thought we had locked the frame. Let's go back to our code. Here we lock the view frame, which is his... Um, which is, um, this view on the first loop and if we look at that loop loop number one which is what we locked it to is this picture so why did we get this one instead well the the, the reason is because we used this function here we used walk when we when we had sammy walk when he was sort of flying through the air what walk will do is walk despite the fact that we had locked his view walk will still try to use the correct animation when it um when it um, when it happens. So we had locked the view frame, but, but, the walk, but the walk function sort of ignores the fact that we locked this frame into view and it will still try to use the correct loop to, to display his walk animation. Um, that's just the way the walk function works. That's not what we want in this case. So we don't want to use the walk function. If you're ever um, using, if you're ever locking a character's view and then having him move at the same time, don't use walk, use move. Um, there's a move function for the character instead of walk. And that will basically keep the, the current um, frame of animation exactly the way, it's, um, the way it's set to. And it'll just have the character move across the screen without animating him at all, which is what we want in this case. 
So let's try that again. So in a second you're going to see him get shocked. Okay, then he's going to walk to the left. And he flew through the air and landed on his butt. He stayed there for a second, stood up and said, ow. So that's what we want. Good, so that's really what I wanted to go over in this video was um, how you can cause the character to, to move while his frame is locked um, and the difference between the walk and the move functions. I wanted to demonstrate that. Um, in the next video, I'm gonna do something a little different. I'm gonna uh, actually show you how to put all of this stuff together to create the um, cutscene that, that we used to, to sort of open this sequence of videos. But I'm not gonna talk during it. So uh, I'll see you in the next video, guys.